something sent to you uh, like I do a lot uh, via, you know, sent to my iPhone or anything of that nature. Uh, it's kind of a good idea that you have ability on the fly to throw it into uh, my iPad or my tablet that I carry with me uh, just about everywhere I go and really make a quick look and see if things are being done, uh, you know, uh, properly so that I can communicate better to a student. And so this is one of the features that's really cool um, that you can use with other platforms, not only um, with this one, like with other ones as well. But what I do like is that you can interchange between 3D and 2D. So this is a, you know, kind of a good way of doing this. So this is a uh, Taylor Moore swing um, who won last week, who works with a good friend of mine, Josh Gregory uh, on the PGA tour. And um, I actually asked Josh, you know, what were some of the things that, uh, you know, you guys have been working on uh, in the golf swing. And so a couple of things which were kind of interesting was that he's been working on trying to get, you know, a nice set position right off the golf ball. So, and I, I'm a big fan of Taylor's move. I think, um, you know, the first time I saw it, I think was, a couple of years ago on the range at Riviera and um, the guy has a lot of power and uh, and he's got a, a pretty appealing move and you can see like, okay, this is, you know, section two of the golf swing or P2 for a lot of people. Um, so he's been working on getting that set. And one, and, a, and one of the things to kind of look at this is that um, if you're, a, if you're looking at this, how it's nice and blended. Right, so this doesn't look like it's independently moving. He looks like he's moving it kind of as a unit together, and you know, so this is a good thing that I that I do a lot, where I don't, you know, don't have to just do it just from the phone. I can import it into the system here, which is really really cool. Um, and then you can see with Taylor's move, he gets you know a nice turn. His his pelvis works exceptional as he winds up to the top. And if I want to get rid of this line, I just tap it and then hit delete. And then I could do the same thing here. Okay, there's the lead arm. Okay, and you can see that relationship looks, you know, world class right there. So, um, and then the other thing that, that Josh alluded to that they were working on. And, you know, I say this not because, oh, this is what you guys need to be doing. Um, but this is Taylor's feels, right? So he's trying to feel essentially at the top um, much, much wider. And so you can see like, okay, he's got a pretty much like 90 degrees between the left arm and the shaft, but he's got a nice full turn. Um, and those are good, you know, simple keys that he can stay athletic with. Um, and then the other one is that through the ball, when he looks like he transfers uh, Josh was alluding to the fact you can see he's staying on top of um, the golf ball here. And with Sports Box, we could actually, if, you know, I'm not going to do it on this video, but we could see that relationship of the upper body and lower body that they're on top um, at that magic position. And you can see he's got that forward leaning shaft. You can see the right wrist bend after impact, but he's staying on top of it and rotating through. So, Really, really nice golf swing. I think when I look at his swing, it's very, very orthodox. So um, I think he's going to have a long career as a golfer. Um, so really nice of Josh to give his insight on what they're working on. Um, but this is a cool aspect of using the sports box system.